Hi everyone, it's me, Violet Chachki. I am currently, oh my God. Oh, baby. I'm Violet and this is little baby Eugene. Hi baby. He is gonna be meowing this entire time. He loves attention and he's such a little goober, aren't you? I am gonna be filming from home because we are in quarantine thanks to Mrs. Coronavirus. Uh, shout out to you girl, this is all for you. This is the very first time that I have used any of my equipment, so <laughs> bear with me. Maybe the sound is weird, maybe the lighting is weird. I did this all myself, so I'm very proud of it so far, didn't I, baby? Um, so today on my channel, I want to take it all the way back. A lot of us have been in quarantine and social distancing and looking at old pictures and reminiscing. So I thought it'd be fun to take a look at my RuPaul's Drag Race audition tape. So this is the audition tape that got me on the show. I worked super hard and I had lots of help with friends. I remember wanting to, cause I auditioned the year previous for season six and I didn't get on. I remember thinking, okay, I'm gonna give them all I got. I'm gonna put my heart and soul into this video and I'm either gonna get on and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna win or I'm gonna like go back to college and like become a designer or whatever. It was like a turning point for me. I was like, had made my mind up. I'm either getting on Drag Race and I'm doing this drag thing as like my real career or I'm gonna go down a different path. So this is the tape that launched me kind of into my drag career. And it was filmed in Atlanta. Let me see, when, when does it say? Six years ago. So this is six years ago. Um, I've grown a lot, I've learned a lot. I'm really, I'm like delaying watching it because I'm literally, it's so cringe. If I remember correctly, it's gonna be really cringy. I was balling on a budget. She was uh, thrifty and economical and she's come a long way. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're watching it. I'm, I'm like, it's gonna be very uncomfortable for me. So that's gonna be that. Right baby boy? Right, little nugget? Okay, so I'm gonna put headphones in. Usually I would do this at a studio and I'd have help and I'd have, everything would be set up all nice, but I don't have that ability, so this is how we are gonna do it. Okay. Oh my God, I'm literally so nervous. Okay, right away from the thumbnail. It's actually a very funny because I'm kind of sitting in a similar situation. Fishnets, heels, wigged. Um, I actually still have this dress. Anyways, I am gonna go ahead and start it. I'm gonna press play. I am so nervous. Hi, you guys. Ooh. My name is Jason Dardo. I am 21 years the old. The hair, honey. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. My drag persona is... And the eyebrows. Eating, oh god. I don't know if I can do this. This is so <laughs> honey. She had a satin glove on, a rubber wig, a church lady hat, uh, a sequin cocktail dress, and some knockoff Versace shoes. She really thought, and she's in front of a mural. She's posing outside day drag. All right. I mean, it's a good look. I actually wore this on Drag Race. Episode one. Okay, let's go. Oh god. Like oh my god. A knickknack or a bottle. So drunk. It's like wearing an American a apparel thing dress. That has no real purpose. And it's kind of like decorative and not really functional. Drunk. And then violet is Ponytail. Um, derivative from the movie Bound. Slurring. Starring Jennifer Tilly as a lesbian. Oof. Three words to describe my drag persona, I would say, are vintage, okay. doll, doll, the doll, doll. skinny, Sk oh. I guess. Everyone says skinny, I, and I, tend to agree, so I guess skinny, 
Oh, and they make you do all this. There, in the drag rescission tapes, there's like pages of stuff you have to tell them and do. So everything I'm saying is stuff that was on a packet that I had to like present to them. And all like I mean, she was still serving looks, honey. Oh. A bottom lash. Still true? Queer expression that you put on. Okay, this hair. This is, this is the most. I love that's one of her She was really out here with a swoop and a pony. I was so skinny. I love all types of expression. <laughs> the only kind of drag queen that I don't like is a lazy one. A drag queen who has people make their, all of their costumes. Okay, this is horrible. She was mighty confident to wear chicken feathers. She was wearing chicken feathers. Bitch, she said, I'm an artist and these are my chicken feathers. My development as a character is Okay, I can like barely even speak in this video. She's definitely influences. I love learn to enunciate better. I love Rococo. Still love clowns, still love Rococo. Dolls, I love things that are kind of circusy like and that's kind of like that all kind of falls in the term chocolate. Ooh. Cultural appropriation. Here's some ostrich. She had an ostrich. Elena has oh. a very strong history in drag, as I'm sure you know. She looks good here. In her pleaser pump. Art girl scene, full of artists. You know, and, you know more performance artists type, geared type queens. So I'm kind of, I'm unique in that I fit in every category, and I also stand out because of that same reason. I'm polished enough to be, to fit in with the glamour queens and the midtowns. Girl, she can barely speak. Enunciate, Anita. Anna. I have been doing drag for, since I was 17 years old, I first went out in drag as Mary Kay I mean, Olsen. the look here is good. The purple, now, and the I've chiffon. Been professionally as a drag queen for the hair is nice. Just a little bit over two years. I book me. Well, I can walk in fetish pumps really, really well. I can cinch down to a 22 inch waist, which I think is pretty crazy. It looks pretty crazy, and people have actually called it disgusting before. So people still call it disgusting. The corset is crooked. The hair, I literally, I thought I was turning look stunting pretty. I am like constantly thinking about drag, constantly. And what is this lip? Looking at drag, so I feel like myself out of drag right now is kind of. And the gloves, oh, these gloves look like a little girl going to Easter Sunday. Very straightforward about everything. I'm very upfront. I don't really have time. Same. I haven't really changed. I'm still a total cunt. So I'm just gonna be very honest about everything, and I, I'm like that in and out of drag, you know, I don't really, I just say what's on my mind right away. And sometimes it comes across as bitchy, but you know, I'm just trying to be honest. Oh, out of, oh, I missed that shirt. That was a cute shirt. It takes a lot of time and money and effort. Out at the thrift store, thrifty. Theatrical concepts, you know, ways to step up, step up the level of entertainment even further. Oh, did somebody girl. slip something in your drink? I don't know. Hi, 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 hi. It was so fucking fake and cheesy. <laughs> she was doing black light before it was cool. Yeah, six years ago, black light. Black light moment. I feel like I already am the next Jack superstar. I just have to be on TV. Already the next Jack superstar. Oh. Come on, Iggy Azalea. She was a pointer sister. Definitely a pointer sister. This is a good look. You know, nothing like spray painting some old soccer knee pads. I literally like hate This is cute too. I mean, honestly, for being low budget, she was still giving it to the girls. Lady Miss Kier. 
She was still stunting on you, Hose. With her plastic bangles. Uh huh. Oh, on point. Curl these eyebrows. That's a cute dress. I mean, I still had some cute looks. Not a custom outfit in sight, though. Customized. Oh, my old little apartment. It was so cute. But blonde. This is like Trixie. I loved that dress. Hi. Oh, closet tour. The most unique things I have in my closet are as follows. You saw this earlier, but here's a better look at it. It's got chains. This was actually inspired by the blondes. And I actually made this LOL. out of my very own. Oh, Nicole Page Brooks from Atlanta, Georgia. Actually gave me this hideous dress. It's kind of cute now. This is actually fabric given to me from season two of Drag Race. I can smell the workroom now. So this is actually a child like saying, so this is actually football padding that I have bedazzled to Helen back. Oh, giving you goth with a pink nail. But if y'all do a throwback challenge, I got it. Cause I got vintage out the ass. Literally. Vintage. This is vintage. This is vintage. 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 This is vintage. Vintage. Y'all know this is vintage. I still have a lot of this shit. This is vintage. In the past um, like six or seven months, I've actually been taking aerial slip classes. It's the only pretty way to get a workout in, which is why it kind of appeals to me. I like everything to be aesthetically as gorgeous as possible. Oh, and drop. Yes. I mean, I would hire me, girl. This is correct. Class. Oh. Ooh. It's me, Dante. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. So they make you do a snatch game. Oh fuck! I forgot about this. They make you do a snatch game like snippet to see like what you would do. And if you remember correctly, if you watch season seven, me and Miss Fame were both gonna do Donatella Versace and it was like a huge drama and it turned into this huge big drama. And I brought Donatella and this is what I submitted. Um, oh my God. Donatella Versace. Where is this snatch game? Oh my god. Oh. This is like a horrible Italian accent. Oh my god. Now that I've actually been to Italy. <laughs> and that Donatella Versace. Oh my god. Bless. Oh my god. Donatella, don't be mad at me. Do not eat nothing. We have. Armani Creve, you wanna go work for Armani to go work for I mean, for honestly, Armani? it's kind of funny. Ooh. Come on, Dollar Tree. Okay, so this is another challenge. They make you make an outfit out of stuff from the Dollar Tree. Um, and my outfit is pretty fucking good. So, all right. I mean, this is a cute look. The boobs could have been bigger and the proportions were a bit off, but it's still pretty cute. So all of this and note the earring, girl. The jump rope earring. So here are some details. Ooh, those nails are so ugly. Everything here from the dollar store. I actually used the bag from the dollar store as the base and then duct tape that I also bought. And all of this is knotted and hand tied. And then it's all measured out and all of the little danglies act as like a fringe. And I have my little hat and it's got little danglies on it too. And then I have my little earring. The and earring. The nails Oof. keep getting caught in my The hair. makeup is bad. I played innocent. Oh my god. And I oh my god, they make you do an acting it's challenge. Murder. <laughs> what? What are those? Oh. 
Well, that was a prelude. That was foreshadowing. And those tights, honey. Oh my god. This is so cringe. I cannot watch. Guilty of being devastatingly beautiful. Oh my god. Those drag queens had it coming. This, this was a mercy killing. And this wig. This was a mercy killing. I mean, girl, she was really Those trying to get on. Those drag queens had it coming. She was really trying to get on the show. I could have been acting better in this audition tape than I did on the actual show. <laughs> no. Let's go. This look. Out. She really thought she was turning the party. Oh my god, no. They make you do a RuPaul song. Oh, another look. Tights did not match the body. She has nails on. This is cringe. This is so cringe. I'm embarrassed of this. Oh no. Oh no. She was trying to dance, girl. She really thought she was going to be dancing. Okay, props. Prop queen. Okay, this is so embarrassing. Oh my god. Oh, here comes the breakdown. Uh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Woo. Woo. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. That was horrible. Bitch, she really thought she was voguing. Bitch, pointing. Oh. Poop just saunters off stage. Bitch. Okay, now I still do this number. With a much better costume. Because, uh. I mean, it still gave something. Okay. I'm bored. I mean, I look good. Good enough. I look good enough, I should say. Oh, honey. Thanks all my friends for tipping me. I miss performing on cast. This was a fun show. Shout out to the other show in Atlanta. I missed you guys. Oh my God. The audience members' faces are so funny to watch. That one bitch was like... She's like, who? Hello. Oh, hi, RuPaul. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'd love to be on your show. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Smooches. <laughs> okay, well, remember when I said that it was my first time using my camera equipment? Well, I wasn't lying because I lost the entire last portion of the video, including my outro and my final thoughts. So, I'm going to give them to you right now. Um... Wow, I mean, I'm kind of embarrassed that this is what I sent in to TV producers. I don't know who told me I was a dancer or a voguer or why I was even trying to do that style of drag. Um, I've come a long way and I'm very thankful for that. Oh my god. Um, if anything, this makes me want to like take a closer look at what I'm doing now and make sure that what I'm doing now is not going to be embarrassing in another five years or whatever. It's also crazy that I was doing drag already for five years at this point, at the time this video was made. So I have another audition tape, actually, from season six. So it's even older. What do you guys think? Should I react to that video? I haven't seen that one even longer, and that one is... It's even worse, I think. It's even less... Well, it's even worse. It's even worse. Um, I may do that one as well. I'm gonna have to think about it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I definitely enjoyed looking back on my audition tape. And if you want to stay tuned for more quarantine content coming your way very soon, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you in the magazines. Mwah.